Hi, this is Zach Fisher, and welcome to another weekly tech video. And these videos are to help improve presentation skills across the industry. And please feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and ask any questions that you have about these things. This video today is going to be about the reason why companies should be moving towards or already have a unified architecture. Unified architecture means both block and file workloads in a single um, storage device. And I want to start off by talking about one of my customers who has several different categories of small sites around the world. They have up here on the top left, they've got, they've got factories. They've got in the middle here, they've got packing facilities. They have offices. They have engineering facilities. They have hospitals and they have power plants. A very wide variety of small sites distributed all over the world. They have well over 500 sites that require external storage all over the world, the United States, Asia, Europe, and that provides a wide variety of challenges, including just the logistics and the legal um, the legal side of things to just do business in all of those countries with a a, co a company and and getting getting somebody to ship to all of the different countries around the world is actually a challenge and logistics management installation upgrades all of those things for 500 plus sites is a very large challenge and there's a reason why that they have on-premise infrastructure at those sites. Mainly it's due to network latency, some security issues, um, but, but there's definitely a reason why there's on-premise infrastructure at those sites. So one, one group of sites that they have that has a very similar, um, very similar architecture currently is, this customer has power facilities, packing facilities, and large manufacturing facilities, and all of these only require block storage. So down on the, the right, you see the block storage, and on the left, you see the compute. And there's a variety of virtualized and physical workloads, but really, they only have block storage needs. They have payroll, they run payroll and they also run manufacturing equipment that has that has applications that that run the manufacturing equipment on them so they've got one set this is a set of use cases that they have another set of use cases that they have is a file only based workload so at a lot of the uh, small offices, they have print servers, they have file shares that need to remain on site, and they have other applications that only require file workloads. They've got a mix of virtual and physical machines, and maybe not the best network connectivity. They only need on-premise file workloads. So they have a purpose-built file um, storage array. In the previous one, they had a purpose-built block. In this one, they have a purpose-built file. And then there's a third category, and that's the hospitals and the engineering facilities. And the engineering facilities and the hospitals, they need VDI, and they need file shares. So they need a combination of block and file workload. And the way that that's being done right now is they, they have a specific file device that's being put out there at those sites and a specific block device that's being put at those sites. And this leads to 
hundreds of sites being in each of these categories that have different storage needs and different storage different storage devices. So they are managing block storage devices, file storage devices, and then a combination of block and file storage devices along with the compute at each of these sites. And that's a big challenge because every time you add a separate, a segregated workload to an environment, you need to, it, it at least doubles the, uh, the amount of IT management overhead. Every time you add another infrastructure solution, it just makes things at least twice as complicated. And so they've got three times the amount of installing. If you if you see this one, this is uh, this one. This is installing, managing the delivery across the globe. That's that's no small task upgrading these systems as they need more storage and then just simply managing making sure that there's uptime and um, making sure that there's file shares associated with with what people need and 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 migrating onto new systems and these these tasks have to be done in three separate different uh, in, in three separate different storage environments based on the needs. And that honestly doesn't make sense. That's why people have what's called unified storage arrays. A great example is Dell EMC Unity. Another example is NetApp and the, the NetApp FAS. And um, that's why people have the, these, so that they can have a single um, storage device for all of these different small sites or all around the world much easier to manage and much easier to deal with than, than having uh, than having multiple devices. Now, just to keep this honest here, if you have a very, very large footprint, it may not make sense. Like if you have over 100 terabytes of file or block data, it probably makes sense to have a specialized block or file device like uh, an Isilon or an, an, uh, a Paramax or a Hitachi or something along those lines. Sometimes if you have that amount of data, it, it makes financial sense to keep it on something that is more suited for the job. And then over here on the left is you're still managing the compute and the storage separately. You don't have a hyperconverged system, which one of my other videos is about. And really, that's that's what um, that's what you should be aiming to get to in the future. However, if you have 500 plus sites and you're not 100% virtualized, that's not a reality. It takes way too much effort to transform those sites, um, or then it, then it would to just continue down the path that you're on, transform the sites, and then once they're all transformed, have that single solution that you roll out to the sites. It doesn't necessarily make sense to, uh, to, to roll out that solution in this case. Now, down on the bottom right-hand corner is a lot of the... If you have very, very good network connection, maybe you don't need... Uh, on-site storage, maybe you can push it out to the cloud. Um, so if there's good network connection, maybe you have a private cloud and a larger data center and more specialized specialized devices there. And then and then the bottom bottom left is is once again, it's a virtualized. If it's all virtualized, you maybe want to push it into a hyper converged type system. Um, but overall, the message here is keep it simple, stupid. If you have block and file storage across a wide variety of sites, please choose the simplest way to approach that and choose a unified array. Don't choose a specialized block, a specialized file array with a, a wide variety of options. 
keep it as simple as possible. This will make management much, much easier for this system. Now, my next video is going to be going into uh, a specific unified array that will build upon this, this presentation. So once again, my name is Zach Fisher, and make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks.